During World War II, there was a top secret radar station on the Pacific coast in Northern California. It was called B-71. They nicknamed it the farm. You'll see why in a minute. Let's go take a look. Oh, baby. The Klamath River radar station, B-71 in California, is a rare surviving World War II secret early warning radar system. After the attack on Pearl Harbor and the Aleutian Islands, guarding American coastlines became more important on the Pacific coast than on the Atlantic. On February 23, 1942, the urgency became even more apparent when Japanese submarines shelled an oil refinery north of Santa Barbara, California. The drive to get here was really pretty. The radar station was built next to and maybe partly on the old historic Trinidad Crescent City wagon road. It sits high on the cliffs right by where the Klamath River empties into the Pacific Ocean. After we parked, it was just a short hike to get to the radar station. So this is the farm here. When they built this, rather than using camouflage materials, the buildings of radar station B-71 were constructed to resemble farm buildings. From the outside, you would never know what it's being used for. The station consisted of three buildings, a power building that is disguised as a farmhouse. All of the windows you see are fake. They don't actually go through the concrete block walls, but you'd never know it from looking at it from the outside an operations building disguised as a barn. The exterior walls of the barn were disguised with the false wood wall and even included a hoist to make it look like they could load hay. The third building was a functional wood frame two stall outhouse. B-71 also included a pit where they housed anti-aircraft guns. I heard the pit is gone. We didn't see it when we were there. The land where B-71 sits has created a conservation challenge with runoff and erosion causing mud to be deposited against the structure. It looks like there's some damage to the building, like they're doing some construction. The radar station is in what is now Redwood National Park. Today, it's on the National Register of Historic Places, and it's one of the few remaining radar stations in the U.S. <laughs> 